well-educated guys. We just here eating some jalapeno chips. And, uh... Shit is good. You know, we, we were just talking for a minute, and, you know, we were fans of hip-hop, and we actually just wanted to just check out some old shit. We were looking at an old Busy Bone interview, so we yeah. figured, why not just record it? Why, why not record it, yeah. You know what I mean? To understand Suicide Boys, for all y'all, like, y'all gotta understand where they came from. Right. Right? So you gotta see the craziness that they come from. Right, so it's an interview with uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony and Busy Bone talking about why he returned back to Bone Thugs and Harmony. So, <laughs> which is hilarious. Let's check it out. Why we eat chips? Everybody, t- <laughs> what's the name like? Who's this guy right here? I think it's Flesh, but that's a crazy bone. Is that crazy? That is crazy. Oh, is it? It's so fun. I don't know. Look, here he is. This sickness, well, I'm just allergic to bullshit. <laughs> so, I don't think it was so much about being allergic uh, to bullshit. Group, but I give it, I give it all up before I let it go any further. I much rather not be famous than That's crazy right see there. something yeah. going on that I may not agree with at the time. What I see going on with Warner Brothers right now, I see. My family members happy. I see myself happy. I see myself in a good place on the business end. We got to remember, we come from, it's one sandwich. We split it five ways. Hmm. If I one see sandwich. somebody split the sandwich in half, and then in a quarter, and then telling us to split that little square in five ways, I'm going to want to kill. <laughs> That is a real kill. And if I can't do that, then I'll step back. And I'll say, you know, he say, I don't, I don't like I'm it, fuck. It all up just to continue to love my partners. Yep. Because when I come back, you see, I'd rather not even deal with the money. Open. Just fuck it. Wish has his arms open. Flesh is back home. His arms is open. Crazy is like, come here, little man. And it's still that, that love. Hmm. So the reasonings behind things might be a little. Too much for the people on the outside. But we all know what's going on. We're all happy. When the business is good, there ain't no problem with friendship because we always good. We could split a fortune yeah. five ways and still get tipsy. Have a great time. You understand what I mean? And that's, that's, that's what we mean to each other. So, um, uh, <laughs> too so real. Really <laughs> that is too real. Proportion from the outside groups or, or the outside groups. Hey, it's a problem in both. But three members won an American um, uh, Music Award by themselves with flesh and jail, and he's sitting in the bar just watching them. Root them all. Like, go, 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 go. Everybody looking like, you mad? You mad? I know why you mad. I'm happy. That's kind of what Dave Chappelle say, like, yo, you know, you're going to be happy. You're rich. Now, that's real. Like, so he, there's a lot of people who ain't real like that who who understands true brotherhood. And if there's five pieces of the, yo, we all eat equally, and that's it. You know, um, at the end of the day, a lot of people don't think like that. They get big head and go, oh, I need more. I need blah blah blah. But if you just right. a real homie, yo, we all take the same cut, and that's it. And he took it like a real man, right. like, yo, I can either fucking hate y'all and shoot this bitch up. Or what I can do is just say, I don't want to be involved in it. Y'all take care of it. Y'all keep y'all money. And I'm going to be friends with y'all whenever I come back. Because I'd rather love y'all than hate y'all and be in the situation. Right. Because it seemed like it was a situation. I mean, I don't know. You know, he said it was cool between all of them, right? Yeah, he but, was cool. Like, they cool. It's the industry that fucks things but, up. Well, you know, it'll it'll be somebody at the label that's like, you know what? I'll be trying to put something in their ear to yep. be like, hey, man, you should get paid more than, you know, yeah. them. You're, You're doing more rapping. You're, you're doing more rapping. You came up with the song. You're the real star. You know, yada, yada. And then they'll try to split you up. And then they'll take more of the money yeah. away from everybody else. Yep. And then the real homie's going to say something. That's going to cause issue because somebody got in your ear. But in actuality, he's just telling the, like, yo, if we came in this and we split this sandwich five ways, and then they're going to tell you, nah, we're going to take the majority of the sandwich. We're going to give this little quarter. Y'all split that five ways. 
So why do I even have you in my pocket? You ain't you didn't make me this. You ain't do nothing. You didn't do anything. You just, you just sitting here. You just want my money, and that's kind of like what the industry does. So it's kind of interesting. Hmm. This came out in 2010, and he was real. And you see artists today complaining about how they broke, and he's kind of like saying like, "Yo, I got money in my pocket. I just go back to doing whatever I was doing before, and be still be friends with them because you're not gonna mess up our friendship." And I feel like a lot of people, especially in the industry, you kind of see like the Tyrese situation. And other things that are happening who are like friendship, friendship, friendship. And then when money gets involved, it's just like, well, forget the friendship. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Money now, nigga. So, you know, it, it's, it's do you cherish manhood or do you cherish money? You know, and if you're doing it the right way, you should cherish manhood over money. Because money comes and goes. The people that come with money aren't going to be the people who's going to be by at your funeral. The right. people are going to be at your funeral who knew you as a person, who knew you stood as a man or a woman. So there you go, man. That's how I exactly, feel about that. man. That was some real shit. You know, from time to time, we might do some things like to just check out some random ass video. You know, what I mean, that we might think is cool that y'all might need to see. Now, nah, fuck that. We're gonna do that a lot more. The videos that we think is cool, <laughs> we're gonna throw that shit up there, man. And we're gonna watch it, and we all gonna enjoy this shit together. See, so I get some real knowledge. Word, man. Uh, two educated guys. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Visit yep. Educated Freedom. Check educated it out, man. Freedom. A lot of cool stuff up there, man. Yeah. And uh, we catch y'all on the next one. Two educated guys. Peace. Peace.